Hi everyone, this is Leila from Radakat. Uh, in a short video, I'm going to share my first experience of using Charticulator to create a simple chart in uh, Power BI as a custom visual in Power BI. Thank you. So as I mentioned here, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, new tools for creating custom visual. So there are different tools that you can use for creating custom visual for Power BI. BI. So uh, for people who kind of are familiar with the Power BI, you see that uh, there is a uh, you able to get some custom visual from marketplace that already created by Microsoft or other companies, or you can kind of create your own and uh, import it to here. So there are three ways actually to create your own custom visual. One is through the coding, uh, like uh, C Sharp and JSON and HTML coding there. So that's a one way. The other one that I'm not familiar with that. Another one is the R that actually I had lots of experience with that one. And it's really cool, but you need to know R and lots of coding. And this is a third way and a new way to create a custom visual that you do not need to know any code, any coding in R or JSON or other languages. So here is a website. So just search for charticulator.com. If you're going there before launch to the main area, you need to go, you can go to the gallery. So when you go to the gallery, this actually, you can see the, there's a, some sample charts. And there are some videos that actually shows that how this chart has been created, which is really good for me actually, when I want to see that. Also, there is a very simple guide here about what is the different component we have in the area. That's also really good. So let us start through that. I click on launch and the first thing that is asking me is about the data set. So I need to provide a data set, sample data set, and create my chart based on that. So I'm doing that. That's a data set about car. It has a speed in the city, a speed in highway, uh, the car, and also the type of the drive of the car, the uh, class, transition, number of the cylinder, when it has been produced, and the other. Okay. So when I push uh, OK, I get my data set here. So also you're able to have a kind of the better look on your data set by clicking on that three dots. So here uh, you're able to click here, you will be see the ID, the manufacturer, the model, the display, the year of the production and everything here. Moreover, you're able to see the columns that you have. So here, the first one is my ID, that's one, two, three, doesn't have proper name. The second one is the manufacturer, which is a text one. This is the icon of the text, the model, this pillar is a continuous variable, so that's why you see the kind of a rural over there and other things. So this is my data. It's a drag and drop environment. So it's really easy to work and it has lots of functions. So each chart is a bar chart, so or is a scatter chart, or is a line chart, or it has some other elements. These are the elements that we can put in our chart. I'm going to start with a symbol, simple, symbol that actually is a dot. So I'm going to create a simple scatter chart with some legend. So I use the dot and I put it in center here. So here is actually is the uh, zoom out version of here. So it's actually you have a zoom in here that shows the actual chart. Here is actually show you the location of your I'm going to create a scatter chart that for uh, X axis, I have a speed in city. So I click on the speed in city and drag and drop it to X axis. I want to show the speed in highway in Y axis. Okay, so this is the chart. And uh, also I want to do some other changes. I want to that the kind of, maybe I want to change the shape. So instead of circle, you have cross. You can see that when you change it, diamond, star, and the other, which I stick with the circle. I'm happy with that. I want the size of the each dot become the, uh, shows the number of the cylinder that each car has. So I just drag and drop it and put it for the size. Okay, now I'm able to actually to mention that what the size should be. So I want to see the difference. So I make it a bit bigger so I can distinguish between the smaller one and the bigger one. Moreover, I want to have a legend about the type of a 
driver. So if you remember here in the driver, we have four wheel drive, uh, front drive or rear drive. So I want to show it the tree value. I want to show it as a legend. So I just drag and drop it and put it for the fill. So you see that is actually is coming here and here uh, this is a color that is show. I can show it as a legend. And also I want to have the template of Power BI. So I just click on that and change the each color to become Power BI template. I'm not really good visual person, but I choose the color that I feel can be good. Again, for the Power BI palette, and I put, for example, this one or this one. Okay, uh, let me choose the uh, something that distinguish. Yeah, maybe this one. Okay, so these are the actually the charts that I have. Also, I can specify the color. Again, I choose this one as a Power BI one. So I choose, for example, this one to be around of all of them. And you can change the width here. So you see that you can change the width of the no width or also the kind of the trans, uh, transparency of the charts and everything else. So these are the charts that I have. If I click on each option, for example, if I click on X axis, I'm able to see the attribute regarding the X axis. So it's a numerical, it shows the average in the city, the value is changed from 8 to 36, I can change it, it's a linear one, and you can change anything. Only if I click on the option here, you see that I see the information about the each node that we change. Or if I click on the legend, I can have see the kind of the location, change the location of the one, change the font here or whatever that actually you like. So I do it like this. The color, you can change the color one to be, again, I change it to become more Power BI one. So this is the Power BI one. You can change the size, the font, and everything regarding that. Uh, just be careful, if you want to think these things in, for example, R, you need to do lots of coding, and it's kind of available for you here. Also, you can change the title. So here, if I click on title here, I'm able to double click and change. So I said that speed in city, within highway okay so this is the chart that i have i can put or can anything that you feel that you can change it so that's the one that i have uh you can change the legend you see that all of the kind of the things happen here so this is a really simple chart that i created it's not a very complex one it's just a very simple chart now imagine that i want to kind of I, first of all i want to save it so i want to save it as a um, power bi scatter chart uh, i want to save to my chart here Okay, or I want to kind of export it. So first of all, I click there. So to do that, you need to kind of, again, do it again. So here, just click on export and click on custom visual. Here, you're just going to change. So if you remember the, uh, first of all, the city was x-axis. So in the chart, I want to show x-axis. The, uh, the highway was y-axis. Uh, the type of a driver was my legend and the CYL was actually the size. So this is the one. Also, you can uh, kind of put a title or text for that one. You can change that one. You want to uh, uh, enable the tooltip. Also, I'm going to kind of, you can also change the scale and minimum scale for them and also change the I scatter chart PPI and some other kind of the author name and the other of course there are some other settings that hopefully in the next videos I will talk about that so here just power bi custom visual click on that and save it 
I'm going to open the folder. Okay, so now actually I need to uh, open my Power BI desktop here. This is the one. I'm going to get it from the file. It's already saved. Just put it here, this one. So it's already downloaded here. Uh, you can see the charts over here. And all of the things that I mentioned, size, legend, x-axis, and y-axis is there. So I, I use the same one. You can choose the other one, but no matter. So city, highway, still doesn't show anything. Provide some error for me. Legend, and the size. And it also it needs a granularity of detail, which I choose the one. So these are the, actually the charts that we have here. And as you can see, you can have see the tooltip for also here and everything is there. And the good thing is about is that it's kind of the interactive. So here, for example, I'm going to create a new one. And for example, I want to search based on the year. So I just choose year for that as a slicer. I change it to become the list and is able to kind of choose the one that related to that year so you can see that or for example uh if i change it to the uh for example the model so i can easily kind of the select the other one that i have based on that so it's kind of the you can select it and it's interactive based on the what we have here which is really cool and you see that it doesn't take me that much time i just in a couple of minutes without writing any code i create this and i have my own fields here and everything there so i'm still myself new to that one the new tools and i kind of uh, hope so in the new in the future videos i can provide more detail about how we can work with that thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed